What's going on you guys? We got some more lip kit stuff to put on. Let's hop to it. Okay. No, is this open? There we go, yeah. Okay. And it's all made out of the same material as the front lip. So it's got the really nice ABS plastic stuff. So one, I like these better because they're easier to drill holes in or easier to modify. Um, I'm hoping that these just bolt on pretty easily, but we're about to find out. Okay. And those are the sides. I'll put these down gently so we don't damage them. All right, seems pretty easy enough. I hope these measure up to about the same length as the car because when I looked at it online it looked like they were extensions and I was like eh. meaning like there's an inner piece here that extended it outwards but uh, I hope I don't have to do any more cutting but uh, I'm gonna start with the passenger or, excuse me I'm gonna start with the driver side because um, a portion of the easy lip is already off when I fixed the fender a couple videos back so I haven't been able to put the easy lip back on uh, so we're gonna start with that side tear that off and uh, do some measurements, make sure everything lines up the way it's supposed to be. Okay, so I got the one side all lined up and ready to go. Looks pretty good. I lined it up just so that it hits the wheel perfectly. Boink, there we go. So you see that, how it lines up right where this wheel is? I stopped it right where this first groove is on the tire. I mean, the, the problem is that this has a lot more camber because it's natural camber. So it's a little confusing to line up, but I like this where it stays nice and even and leaves a little bit of the tire sticking out. Same thing with the front here, same situation here. Right where that first groove is and that hits right where the tread starts. And then it's even throughout the entire side. And it works. Bad air means bad gas, so we had to make sure the arrow is correct. Now let's tackle the other side. Wait a minute, I just got that screw in my hand, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Nope, that's not it. 
Oh, it's over there. Okay. And I was like, I think I just had that screw in my hand somewhere. <laughs> and I dropped it like a stupid idiot. I can't see that. Oh, that's better. And I dropped it again. Son of a bitch. So after a couple hours and two days, this is the next day, uh, everything's on. Everything's 3M'd and screwed on. Um, I forgot to film this, but these are actually, I have two screws, one there and one there holding this on, um, along with one big strip of 3M. So it's got double uh, durability in case if it's getting windy or something outside. But I think it looks a lot better, especially if you get down here. Ugh. It's very subtle, but I like it. And I think that's kind of the idea I was going for. It's very subtle, very casual. It goes good with the duckbill wing, which by the way, guys, I actually got off camera my third brake light in. Yep. What do you think of them apples? I didn't film any of that because it was such a headache to even get that thing to fit in there. But I got my third brake light back. Uh, so that's. Great, yeah, but I like this. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to get this uh, little lip kit. It was super cheap, but the material is really good. The kit comes with all the screws. I used my own 3M tape, it didn't come with 3M, so you'd have to get your own, you know, double-sized sticky tape anywhere. But other than that, I like this design. It's very casual and I like this a little better than the Easy Lip because ripping that Easy Lip off was such a pain in the ass. It was, I mean, that's been in there since 2013. That's how long that 3M stuff was there. And I think it's nice that she has a, a little bit of a change in, you know, clothes here, a different style. Uh, let's take a look at the side here. Looking pretty good. Like I said, I lined it up just to this first little groove here in the tire. And then I followed that all the way down to the back there to where that groove starts on that tire she may need an alignment because this one is slightly more in but it's like by a couple millimeters it's not that far off from the driver's side and i think it's because uh she needs an alignment that wheel is further out than the other side but it's just by this much it's not that much at all but overall i like it Hey guys, forgot to film an outro for this video and I do apologize. I was a little exhausted after that last uh, clip, so I went to bed at like four in the morning. As, as, as you do, as you work on your cars and you fall asleep at like three or four in the morning. Uh, but I just wanna say thank you for the patience. You know, I, I, I'm getting a little better. You know, I, I don't know if you guys saw the previous video, but I was a little down 
for a little bit, you know, mentally and everything, but I'm getting better. Um, sometimes working on the car helps, um, building something or I, I've been actually reading a book. So reading a book has been help, uh, helping me a lot. Uh, but I really do appreciate the patience guys. I really do. And I know it's, it takes a little bit for me to kind of get back into the game again, but it's okay. You know, we're getting back into the rhythm of things. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the week. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a fat thumbs up and I'll talk to you goons later.